Stretched across the equator in Southeast Asia, more than 17,000 islands form the archipelago Indonesia. Home to 260 million people, it's the fourth largest country in the world. Indonesians inhabit nearly a thousand of the country's islands, but over half the population is on just one, the island of Java. And it's here, near the capital city of Jakarta, where FEBC Indonesia has been strategically headquartered since 1969, right in the heart of the largest Muslim nation on earth. It was perhaps the most audacious place to build our first Christian radio station in the country, but more importantly, it was the most effective. For more than 20 years, the gospel has been broadcast from inside one of the most densely populated places on earth, so that millions of Muslims can hear the good news every single day. In the last five years alone, we've received over a million responses from listeners in Indonesia. This is one man's powerful story of conversion. Stories like these have not come without great challenges. As a whole, the Indonesian people are warm and friendly, and you'll often be met with an infectious smile from a complete stranger. Yet, Indonesia just made the world watch list as one of the 50 most dangerous places in the world to follow Jesus. Many of our local staff, totally nearly 100 Indonesians, literally risk their lives every day to broadcast the gospel, often to the very people that threaten their lives. A jihadist group attacked one of our broadcasters at her house for being a Christian. She miraculously survived, but tragically her pastor, who was nearby, was tortured to death. Yet, the love of Christ is breaking down barriers every day. When Muslims understand that our staff truly loves them and cares for them deeply, bridges are crossed and friendships are built. Ya, semuanya. Saya seorang Muslim. Ada juga yang lainnya. Ya, saya tahu sendiri di dalam komunitas itu pelajaran apa yang diajarkan Bu Yuli itu. Another huge challenge in reaching every man, woman, and child in Indonesia is its vast rural areas. Besides the Amazon rainforest, Indonesia is the most heavily forested region on Earth, making some of its regions the most difficult places to access. This is why we've recently expanded our gospel content to 105 more radio stations, specifically targeting these remote areas. In urban areas, most Indonesians have internet access, so we stream our broadcasts online to meet the listener right where they are. For 74 years, FEBC has been faithfully broadcasting the gospel of Jesus Christ, and we've seen God move in the hearts of millions of listeners every year. In each of the 50 countries we work in, our local staff adapts to new ways of reaching people, and by God's grace overcomes challenges unique to each region. But the mission that joins us all together will never change. With four billion people within reach of FEBC gospel broadcasts, there are still so many men, women, and children who are desperate to hear about Jesus for the very first time. And we will press on. In the remote places, the forgotten villages, amidst the persecuted believers, and to the hardest to reach, until all have heard.